vedere questo sciacallaggio, questa violenza che qui hanno fatto di fronte a un immobile che era stato da poco ripulito e veramente fa male al cuore. Io spero che vengano assicurati alla giustizia, devono pagare fino all'ultimo euro per i danni che hanno compiuto ed esprimo la piena solidarietà a tutti i nostri operatori che ovviamente non si fermeranno e già da domani saranno all'opera, le vaccinazioni continueranno, non ci facciamo più. Demonstration outside the BBC Port Place in London. They are usually frightened and very rare. But how rare? Adverse reactions should be reported to the yellow cup scheme operated by the MHRA, the UK's medicines and healthcare regulatory agency. Their figures for August the 24th show over 430,000 reported reactions, of which 2,240 were fatal. America's best system has almost one and a half million reports with over 30,000 deaths. Not all these reports will be confirmed as vaccine-induced, but then again, not all reactions are reported. The figures surely demand investigation. I think early next year we'll be in the phase of chasing up people who haven't come forward to get their vaccination or have missed their bookings and so on. So uh, everyone will be able to get a vaccine between now and the end of the year. Uh, but of course, you know, and, and I want every New Zealander to come forward, but human behaviour suggests that there will be some people that we have to actually really go out and look for, uh, and, and some of that may spill into next year. But our commitment is everyone will have the opportunity to get the vaccine by the end of the year. Uh, everyone will, uh, but I, I can't say that, you know, that we're not going to have some hesitant people or some people who just haven't come forward that we don't have to go out and find next year. Even then, people live in fear of what might be next. Because Republicans in Congress are now calling for a nationwide abortion ban. Some even from the moment of conception. The right of every woman in every state in this country to make decisions about her own body is on the line. And I've said it before and I will say it again, how dare they? How dare they? region, why this region matters with all of its rich resources and rare earth elements. You've got the lithium triangle, which is needed for technology today. 60% of the world's lithium uh, is in the lithium triangle, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile. You just have the largest oil reserves, light sweet crude discovered off of Guyana over a year ago. Um, you have uh, Venezuela's resources as well with, uh, with oil. Uh, copper, gold. Uh, China gets 36% 30, of its food source from this region. We have the Amazon, uh, lungs of the world. We have 31% of the world's fresh water in this region too. Um, I mean, it's just off the charts. But then when you talk about trade, 
trade is unbelievable. The trade uh, in the region. You know, I talked about all the ties that we have with this hemisphere. Uh, but the PRC and a lot of our uh, countries in this region are, is the number one trade partner with the United States uh, number two in most cases, not in most cases, I would say in some cases. Uh, however, uh, to see the increase in investment in trade from 2002 from China, 18 billion uh, up to 450 billion now and on its way what is predicted to be about 750 billion. Uh, in the near future. And so I think we have a lot at stake. So antibodies, antivirals, we think we can also have very early in an ep and the epidemic, a thing you can inhale uh, that will mean that you can't be infected, a, a blocker, an inhaled blocker. We also need to fix the three problems with vaccines. The current vaccines are not infection blocking. Uh, they're not broad, so when new variants come up, you lose protection, and they have very short duration, uh, particularly in the people who matter, which are old people. And every one of those things is, is fixable. Uh, in fact, doing that work is going to help vaccinology very, very broadly. We've returned de facto to a situation in the West, not just in the United States, of, of what argue historically would have been called tyranny where the people are once again subject to the will of the of the government democracy has always been a transitory element of uh, in the in social management throughout human history and right now it is going out of favor again uh, and it's going out of favor rapidly and as, as we remember, Václav Klaus, the president of the Czech Republic, famously said on many occasions to me directly, said, we didn't get rid of the Soviet Union to create another one. And yet that's what's happened in, in the European Union. It's what's happening in the United States and Canada, Australia and the like. We're seeing this draconian form of power grab by politicians. And so the differentiation between the West and the East is becoming minimal. Yes, the United States still has an appeal uh, as a destination from, from people in poor countries wanting to, uh, to get a better life. But the, but the reality is that this is not based on any intellectual discussion or any hope of gaining uh, freedom because the great, the great underpinning of Western democracy wasn't the ballot box, it was freedom. And right now we're seeing this erosion of freedoms around the world. Uh, and so the, the answer is, what is the moral superiority of the West at this point? And this is a, a question which began to be raised in 1917 by um, uh, with the, the Oswald Spengler and the decline of the West. Uh, and, and, uh, and it's taken all this time for it to mature through uh, the, the, the world. And Spengler saw also that this process was greatly enhanced by the creation of what he called megalopolises, super cities. So we're, 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 we're at that point. And therefore, I've said already in the last days, yes, we have to do more to defend Ukraine. Yes, we have to do more also on tanks. But the most important and the crucial part is that we do it together and that we do not do the blame game in Europe because we are fighting a war against Russia and not against each other. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Minister. Well, let me just start by saying that Canada is absolutely committed to supporting Ukraine and we're gonna be with the people of Ukraine for as long as it takes. And as finance minister, let me also add that I really believe that a clear, strategically viable and stable Ukrainian victory this year would be a big boost for the global economy and a big boost for Canada. And I say that because I think it's important for us as Canadians to understand we're supporting Ukraine because it's the right thing to do, because the brave 
and really smart resistance of the people of Ukraine, I think has earned the admiration of the whole world. But we are also supporting Ukraine because it is in our national interest to do so. Yeah, you know, uh, the Second Amendment's like a suicide pact. Don't pay any attention to the several men that's body language and the way they're dressed indicates that they're ready to kill someone with a gun at a moment's notice. Oh, there's a homeless person right there. Kill him. Help! Anyways, like I was saying, guns are incredibly dangerous. And that's why, even though our system is inherently racist and evil, we should make sure that the only people that are armed are the people that work for the system that's inherently racist and evil. I think uh, in the next couple years, if we work really hard, we can start looking like Soviet Russia or Communist China. What the I just paid using only my palm at the grocery store without credit cards and cash. Let me show you how it works. You need to sign up an Amazon One kiosk, you insert your credit cards and the machine scans both of your palms. Then you enter your mobile number and agrees with terms of use. You're all set. I didn't believe that it worked that simple and decided to check it straight away. I just got something to drink and went to the cashier. And this is the moment. I just paid using my palm. Can you believe? What do you think about this technology? One of the number one reasons, if you turn to our founders, that this nation was formed was for the common defense. And now we have more people in America, in my short lifetime, that have died mm. due to gun violence than in every single one of our wars, from the Civil War and the Revolutionary War to the wars in the Middle East combined. This, this is uh, a, dele a, a dereliction of duty. This is a surrender uh, to uh, violence. Uh, this is not doing your constitutional duty to protect this nation uh, from threats foreign and domestic. We all need a top-up now and again, like that extra drop of coffee first thing, or a quick charge for your phone when you need it. Flu and COVID-19 vaccines give your immune system the top-up it needs to help protect you from serious illness. That's why children, older people, healthcare workers, and anyone who is pregnant or has a long-term health condition should get their recommended flu and COVID-19 vaccines. Put a vaccine appointment on your to-do list and make sure you and your family are protected in the months ahead. See what vaccines are recommended for you. Express our deepest condolences and sorrow violent and tragic and useless
California has been courageous as a leader on the issue of smart and unsafety laws. But we also need Congress to act. Because truly, if we are to have a uniform approach that is a statement of where we as a nation, I think, where we are on these issues, then Congress must act so that we can get at least one step closer to what is right and what is reasonable, understanding that to do so is to fully support the Second Amendment, but to understand we need reasonable... We have 3.5, 3.6 billion people are either locked out or under working under extremely uh, precarious um, circumstances with uncertain um, survival. So these unprecedented inequalities can only be sustained by extreme violence, militarization, and repression. And that's this first dimension of um, of global police state. So if we're all familiar with this, what actually does global police state look, look like? Um, it spans these new modalities of policing, of repression, and also, because I know we'll get into this when we talk about Global Civil War, the new book, because that book is all about um, d- digitalization and the digital transformation of global capitalism and what that implies. But the global police state is made possible by these new technologies, and they include the systems of mass incarceration, uh, real wars, hot wars, the U.S. invading Iraq, but also all these bogus wars, the bogus war on terrorism, bogus war on drugs, wars on immigrants, uh, immigrant detention and deportation regimes, which are spreading all over the world, not just in the U.S. and Europe, although that's the leading edge, refugee control systems, and there are currently 300 uh, million refugees around the world is going to go way up as the crisis deepens. Border walls and containment walls. We know the U.S.-Mexico border wall, but actually there are over 70 border walls all around the world, and they're going up every day to either lock in or keep out um, unwanted populations. Mass sur- systems of mass surveillance and tracking, and that's a big theme of global civil war because that's the digital application that makes that possible. Militarized urban policing, power military and private armies and security forces. And then there's direct and structural violence, such as the intensification of, of mass debt, debt, and then, um, and then debt collection, violent and state uh, debt collection. There's, we increasingly see the blurring of military and civil, the boundaries between military and civilian forms of the global police state, the, that blurring the boundaries between active war zones and urban civilian theaters. It's the mega cities of the world that is ground zero for a uh, global police state. If you need a single location to get cutting edge information and keep up with the rapidly changing world around us, tune into Grand Theft World, where a forensic historian and a logic professor break down the week's news in depth and in context. There's a ton more there, so go check it out. And don't forget to get your Freedom Vault on the homepage.